as it was recently my birthday, I uh, decided to treat myself and buy myself a few gifts in the form of Hot Wheels cars. I was hoping to find some treasure hunts, but yeah. Anyway, let's... Okay, let's start off with... I have got some new lighting in, so we've got this kind of two-tone effect going on here with the warm white and the cold white lighting. But anyway, let's actually, yeah, let's get the fantasy models out of the way first. Let's get them out of the way quickly. Alright, so, for starters, we've got the Aeropod. I mean, it's alright, in it? It's alright. It's nothing special, but it's the glow wheels. Always got to get those glow wheels, because I... A bit of a fanatic of the glows. Again, another glow wheels. Fast. Is this four wheel drive? 4WD? We might never know. Or care. But yeah, this is another glow wheels. Actually, this one isn't too bad. It's kind of similar to this sort of one in the style. Sort of this hot hatch type tune, tuner type thing. You know, it's pretty cool. This is probably my second favourite out of all the glow wheels, but yeah. Another fancy car here with the Time Shifter. I've never actually seen this before, just randomly saw it today and thought, you know what, I'll buy that. It's quite nice, got sort of a matte paint job to this. Yeah, it's quite a nice looking truck actually. Not too bad. And lastly, my favourite one. The Night Shifter. I don't know why, I just really like this one. I think it's a really, really cool fantasy casting. But yeah. I'm also kind of interested in how they've done the uh, box that sort of fits the car perfectly. I'm a bit confused on why they've done that, but oh well, it's a thing. Right, on to the proper models. Here we have a part of the then and now, and I'm assuming this must be the then. Wait. If, no. No, because the then, the, the now would be in the same colour, wouldn't it? I'm sure it would be. No, no, false alarm, false alarm. I don't actually have the of one of these, but yeah, I just saw this and thought I really like the actual model, so I should get this one, and I did. I feel quite like this model. Quite simple, blue with a with a stripe on it. Oh, is this stripe on? Yep, there's some stripes on the bonnet as well. Quite simple. You now, this new lighting setup actually isn't working very well. It's adding a lot more glare. But yeah, I'm running out of spaces to put these now. Next up again, I got these on some kids stuff for that much. There's the American. Quite expensive in the UK actually. Um, do they still sell them for a dollar over in America? I've heard a lot of times they sell them for a dollar in America. Basically, well, if, if you are in America and you buy Hot Wheels, how much are they? Let me know, because I feel like they're a bit too expensive here. Well, I could say that about anything. Oh, wait, the car, the car, I almost forgot. McLaren F1 GTR. Again, then and now, I've only got one of the two, which is kind of sad. Can't find the other one. But this is a really nice one, actually. I really like this. 2017. I think all of these are 2017s. All of the cars I bought except for the Aeropod are all 2017 cars. Next up I have a Porsche 934 Turbo. Urban Outlaw, Magnus Walker, part of the Night Burners. 10 of 10. This is quite a nice one actually. Sort of a silver with the red and blue. It's quite nice. Quite like the wheels on it as well. Quite a nice little model. Don't really know much about it, although I bought this from a shop, not really knowing that it was already kind of like half open. Like it's sort of just come unstuck, so I mean, there we go. It's an unboxing now. Oh, this feels really nice actually. This feels really nice, it feels really heavy. Plastic base by the feel of it. Hmm, it's quite a nice model. I assume it's not been tampered with or anything, or got marks where it's been taken out. I've noticed a little speck on it there. Hmm. 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 
Let's move on before I actually find anything wrong with it. And I get really angry. Next up, let me check. No, yeah, these are all 2017 models. I don't know why. Volkswagen. Ah, ah. Volkswagen Kerfer Racer. How do you pronounce the A with the umlauts on it? And I took German. I think that's German. God, I got a C in German. I don't even know if that's German or not. Oh well. Black with. Ah, oh, very Germany colours. Very, very Germany colours. Black, red, and yellow. Yeah. This is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I bought it. God, I need to do research into cars so I know what to say about them. Whoa. Nissan 180SX. Oh, hoo, hoo. I do like this. I like the car. I like the model. I like the colour. I like all of it. Part of the Hot Wheels race team. Got to try and keep the box in the camera. It would be so much better if I kept it all in the camera. Yeah, very nice metallic blue on this one. Very nice with the sort of stripes over it and the Hot Wheels logo. I quite like this. I do like this very much. And again, next up, Ford Focus RS. Part of the Hot Wheels Speed graphics. Quite a nice red and black model, this with the red around the wheels. Yeah. Quite like it, I do. Again, this one is a. Uh, 2017 one, as they all are, because for some reason the shops around here just will not stock. They just do not stock the 2018 models. I swear, wherever I go, it's just all 2017 ones. Anyway, next up is Ford Fiesta, another race team one. This one I like. I like this one. It's got the plastic sort of fluorescent yellowy green sort of plastic underside. Sort of a light blue colour scheme, it's actually quite cool. Come on. Oh, I get it now. Race team. They've got the stripes that are similar. That's pretty cool. I like that. I'm pretty sure there's one of these in the dark metallic blue. Like that one? Hmm. I think so. Oh well. Moving on. Second to last, the Volkswagen Golf Mark 7. <laughs> this stands out, pink and yellow. Obviously it's part of the Hot Wheels art cars, which is, uh, yeah, you can tell. It's got some sort of like cartoony, comic-y style picturing on it, vinyl on it. It's quite nice. Actually. I quite, it's, quite, it's cool in its own right. It's pretty cool. But if you saw it in, if you saw it in the street, you'd probably mock them. Right, the last one. This is the closest I got to a treasure hunt. Well, I suppose it technically is, but uh, it's not a super standard treasure hunt. Part of the Hot Wheels Pursuit. That's all it says. <laughs> Part of the Hot Wheels Rescue. So, yeah, it's got the little flame there. And, uh, yeah. <sighs> the closest I got. What really bugs me is I found a metallic red surf crate. I, I think it was... Yeah. Basically, it looked identical to the treasure hunt because it was at the back of the pegs, all the way at the very back. I thought, oh my god, is that is that the one? And I got it off and I was like, oh, no, it's not. Oh, like, oh, the disappointment. I don't know why I want a treasure hunt so much. It kind of does ruin the idea of collecting Hot Wheels, but yeah, at the same time, I really want to get one. Oh, well, one day, one day. So yeah, that is uh, that with my random birthday collection that I bought myself. Um, so yeah, um, and if, yeah, I'll just put a few in the camera so you can admire them. These are probably the best few, I'd say. Well, the McLaren's really good as well. I like the McLaren. I do like the McLaren. I also like the Porsche, which was very, very kindly pre-unboxed. From the shop. So yeah. I, I need to stop looking at it before I find any problems with it. Oh well. There we have it. That is my little birthday present to myself. And I guess I did kind of get a treasure hunt. Possibly. Yeah. Yeah.